Assalamu alaikum. This is data structure and algorithm subject, chapter six. Binary size tree. Okay. So look at the, this example. It is written there, you have to write the three treble cell of the given tree. Given tree means this is the tree here. This is a given tree here. Okay, so you have to write three treble cell. It means that in order, pre order, and post order. These are the three treble cell. Okay, so and here you have to understand left, root, and right. There are three things left, root, and right. So this is the format here. This is root, R O O T, root. This is root. Okay, this side is left. And this side is right. So you have to look at these three things. This is root, R O O T root. This is left, this is right. See? Okay? Left, root, right. You have to know. This is left, this is root, this is right. Okay? So these are the three simple things you have to follow. Okay? But you will get the tree like this. So look at the here now. When you look at the, this one, the first one you have to understand is which one is a root, main root here. The main root here is this one. Look is the main root, okay? So which one is a left? Left are all these sides. See, this side is a left. This is left. Which one is a right? Right are these things. So you have to divide like this. Okay, this is the main. Okay, this is left side. This is the right side. So in order to write the in order traversal, you have to solve the left first, left side first. You must finish all the left side. Then after that, you have to write the root, look, and then you solve the right side. So these are the bigger picture. Okay, the big picture of the look, and after that, this right, left side, and this is the right side. So, and here again, you have to divide. Okay, there are the sub trees are there. So, I will change another color here. For example, yellow color. Okay, so, and here again, we have a different things here. And here we have another sub tree. Look at here. See, this is another sub tree. This is Han, Shobaka, and Leah. This is another root, left, and right. This is another subtree. Okay? So under here, there is also another subtree are there. Okay, but when you look at the, this side, there are only three things, no problem. Okay? But when you are going to look at the other part, okay, let me change the color here. Green. And you have also here. This is another root problem is here, okay? And this part, you have a root it here and you have a left is here, but you don't have a right, okay? So this is like this part you have to divide, okay? This is the main root. After main root, these sides are the left, these sides are the right, okay? Then inside here, you have to see how many Sub branches are there. Okay, and here there are the three things you divide. This is there. Okay, root, left, right. And then again, and here there is a one of the, uh, I mean, the branch also again there, root, left, and no right is here. So this is all we have divided now. So when we are going to write it, okay, how to write it now? See. Okay, let me close this. How to write it now? In order to write the in order traversal, this is in order, we must finish all the left ciphers. Then after that, we write the root. Root is here, the main root. Then after that, we go for the left side. So look at the left ciphers here. So left side, in order to look at the left side, for this one, the left mox is here. 
Okay, this is in the left side. So for this one, you have to solve from there, which one is under the lowest part first. Okay, so from here, look, when you look at here, this is left side, and then and here you have another left side. Okay, so from here, you have a one left side, and then here is another left side. So you have to write Shobaka first. Okay, after the Shobaka and here, you have a three part here. Shobaka is a left, after the root is a Han, after that, Liya is a right. So you have to write the left Shobaka and go back to root. Root is here, Han. Okay. Then after that, you have to write the right side here. Right is a Lia. You cannot write the Lia because Lia have another branch here. So you must solve this thing first. And Lia, you have to consider as a three part again. This is a left, this is a root, and then this is a right. Right is not there. So you must write the left first here. Left first, and then after that root. Because there is a no right part. So you must write the left here. Left is a lando, and then after that, go to the lia. So now this part is finished. All the left side are finished. So you go to the root here. The main root is look. You write the look here. Then after that, we are going to solve the right side. Okay, the right side, we have three things again here. So it is very easy. Left, root, right. Just write left, root, right. So left is a ovi. Is a vada, is a root, and then yoda is a right. Okay, see when you look at it for the first time, it will it will be difficult for you to understand. So please try again and again by looking at the answer. Okay, by cutting all these things. So it will be easier for you. Okay, even for me as a teacher. Okay, so we have to study again and again. Okay, so you have to divide, okay, three part, root, left, and right. So the first one in order, you have to solve all the left first. Then after that, root, and then after that, go back to the right side. Okay, so when you are going to solve this thing, you have a, some branches are here. So look at the here. Div Okay, cycle, the branch here is a one branches, and then here is another branches, even though there is no left here. Okay, no problem. So when you are going to start writing, the first one says you must write the left first, left moves. So when you look at the look here, this is a left, and then this is a left. Which one is the last one here you have to write first? This is a Shobaka, left is here. So, and here you have a three part here. This is a left, and root is Han, and you have to write Lia. Lia is a right here. But and you cannot write Lia. When you are going to write the Lia, Lia have another branch here. So you have to solve this part first. Okay, so and Lia have a right here, left here, so you must write the Lando first. Lando, left, and root, Lia. If you have something in here, you have to write this thing also because left, root, and right. Okay, so now this part is finished. Left is finished, all the left are finished, so you must write the root here. The root is look, look. Then after that, we are going to solve the right part here. So the right parts have only three part, no problem. So left, root, right. Left is here, over. root is vada, and yoda is a right side. So here, this is in order is finished. How about the pre-order? Pre-order start from the root. So you must start from the main group here. Say so look, look is the main group here. Okay, then after that you have to solve all the right side. Okay, and then after that you have to solve the left side. I mean left side first, then after that you have to solve the right side. Okay, so again when you are going to solve this left side, then there are many things here. I have already cycled. These are the one of the group, and then this is another group. You have inside here, you have a two different group. Okay? So let's solve, always let's solve, okay, this part. 
okay you have to solve always the this part okay because these are the past part here when you look at the look here this is the root and then these are the left side so this is there you have to solve this group first then after that you have a branch go for this group. so when you are going to solve this group the first thing is that you must write the root here and then after the left right so now root is han here han you write the han okay after root you have to write the left here left left is shobaka this is left and then the right is lia and here okay when you look at the lia you have another branch here okay another group so you have to think about this group now this is a root and then this is a left and then this is a right so in this group what you are going to write you have to write the root first lia and lando root and left you don't have right here so no problem okay so now this part is finished okay this is also the first part you write that root here then now we are going to solve this part okay this part is very clear you have to write the root first root is here vada and then after the left left is oba and the right right is a yoda okay root left and right so vada oba and yoda okay post order post order start from the left side so you must solve all the left side then after that you solve the right side and the last one is the main root so that's why the look is at the last one look will be at the last one. okay so look at the here you must solve all the left side so left side always start from this group because when you look at the main branch true these are the left side okay the left side is always start from this group these are the left modes okay so now we let's solve about this one the yellow group okay and here you must start from writing the left after the right after the root and here you have a left right and root okay left right and root okay so you will, we will write the left now left is chobaka okay right when we are going to look at the we, uh, lia here we have another branch is here another group so we cannot write the lia we must solve this thing first okay so and lia we have a here left is here and this is a root we don't have left, uh, right here so what we are going to solve we must write the left first left is lando first okay we don't have right here so we will write the lia root left right root so we don't have right here so we cannot write so left is lando first and then after that lia root we go for it okay so now this part is finished okay then we will write the root for this group is han here okay han is here so this part is finished already now we go for the right side okay right side the same thing left right root left is obai right is yoda and root is bar okay so after we solve left and right we go for the main one the main root is look is the main root okay so please if you try again and again it will be easier for you okay in the exam i have only two slides from this chapter I have only two diagram, okay? So I will be changing something in this diagram. Maybe I will add here something, okay? Or maybe I will delete something from here. So just try to understand, okay? So for the first time, you won't be able to understand. Even as a teacher, I have to study again and again. So if you study, and it will be very easy for you. Okay, you just have to know which one is the left side, which one is the root side, and then which one is the right side. And then try to make it group like this. Okay, so let's go for the next one.
Okay, so and here, look at the here. This is another diagram again and the exam from these two slides, one of the diagram is coming with some changes. And here I will highlight the main root. Okay, this is the root, main root, and this is the left side. And then this is the right side. Okay. Now inside here again, we are going to, okay, make a group again here. Okay, and here we have a one group here. This is a one of the group inside here. Okay, and here we have also one of the group. We can make it one of the group here. Okay, and let's change to the another color. Okay, maybe pink color. Okay, and here we have a, this is another group, we can make it. Okay, and then this is also another group, we can make it. And, and here, okay, we have another group here. We can make it. And this is another group. We can make it. Okay, so these are all uh, I have already grouping. Okay, so when you look at the, this group, this is the main group, and then this is the main left side, this is the right side. Okay, inside here, I group everything. What are the possible group? Okay, inside here, I have a three group. This is a one group, this is a one group, and this is one group. And here also three group, one group, this is another group, and this is another group. Okay, so now let's go now. In order, we are going to start from the left moves. Left means that this is the root. When you go the left here, you have to solve all the way down first here. So this is the this group. You have to solve this group first. This is the left moves. Okay, so when you are going to solve this one, you have to start writing from left first. Left here, you don't have left here. Maybe in the exam, I will put something here. But now you don't have left for this group. So left, root, right. This is left, root, right. Left, root, right. So since you don't have left here, you write root first. Root, right. So two, three. Okay, this part is finished. So now look at the bigger picture. Now. This is the bigger group. And here, okay, this is a left side is finished. So you go for the root here. The root is four. So you write four. Then now go back to the right side here. And right side here, you have another three things. So solve these three things group. Left, root, right. Left, root, right. So we are going to write the left first. Left is a five root is a six, okay? And you don't have any number here, so you cannot write it. So we finish this part now. So after the left is finished, the whole left is finished, we have to write the root, because root is here, seven here. We have to write the root, the main root here. So then now we are going to solve the left side, all the left side here. So when we are going to solve the left side, okay? So we have to solve starting from which one is the most left part here. Okay, when we are going to solve this right side group, we have to solve from the left most first. Left most is here, this group. Okay, this group we have to solve first. Left, root, right. So eight, nine, 11. Okay, we finish. After this is left side is finished, we write the root root is 12, okay? After that, we go to the right side, okay? The right side, we solve again. Left, root, right. 15, 19, 20. 15, 19, 20. Okay, so this is the end order. So how about the pre-order? Pre-order, we are going to start from the root. Root is there, we write the main group, seven is we write it. After that, we have to solve all the left side, and then after that, we will solve the right side. So when we are going to solve the left side, 
okay so we are going to okay solve all the will down here first okay so let us go here okay let us go here one by one okay so and here what we are going to solve is that okay the main part here we have to solve the main one here first and here when we look at the bigger picture here this is the root here okay so we have to write the root is a four here after that we will solve this part left and then this is a right here okay so the left one when we solve here we have a root left right okay root is two we don't have anything so we will write three okay and then after that come to the here root left six five okay then I, we don't have anything okay then this part is finished now come back to here we will write the main root is a 12 here. Okay, after 12, we will solve these things. Root, left, right. So 9, 8, 11. And this part, proof, left, right. Okay, 19, 15, 20. Okay, finish. So how about the post order triple set? Okay, left right root so left means that we are going to okay solve all the left this side and then after that go back to the right side and then the last one will be the main root is seven seven is the last one okay so when we are going to solve the left here so look at the left mox here left mox is this group okay so this group and this group we have to write the left right root left is here we don't have anything left right root so we will write three two okay we don't have any left here so we will write there left left is not here we will write there right right root three two okay after left is finished we go to the right side okay left is a five left right we don't have any right here, so we will go to the root. So five, nothing is here, and then six. Okay, so after left and right is finished, okay, we go to the root here. The root is four. So this side is finished, and we will go to the right side. Because after left is finished, we go to the right side. And this right side, let us finish all the things here left side first so and here left right root 8 11 9 8 11 9 then after left is finished go to the right side left right root 15 20 19 okay then after finish go back to the root the root is 12 so all the main group will be seven, will be the last one. Okay, so please group like this, and then please try to understand again. Okay, for the one time, you won't be able to understand. Please practice, okay, you already have an answer. Okay, please practice again and again, then only then it will be easier for you. Again, from these two slides, two trees, two diagrams, one will be coming with some changes. Maybe I will add here something. Maybe I will delete something. Maybe I will delete something. Okay? So please try to understand. Maybe I will change the number also. Okay? Sometimes 12 will be come here. 9 will be 8 here. 19 will be in somewhere here. Okay? So please try to understand. Okay? And the exam, it will come for four marks. Okay? Uh, so this is from chapter six, okay? So let's go to the chapter seven because I have a notation. I will just undo it. Okay, let's go back to the chapter.
So this is chapter seven, graph. Okay, so what you have to understand is that this is a, just a, this slides, you have to understand we have a two types of graph, directed graph and undirected graph. Directed graph means there is show arrows. Here, directed graph, you have a arrows, okay? Undirected graph, you have a lines only. These are the just a line, collecting line without the arrows. If there is an arrow, this is called directed graph, okay? You have arrows here. And undirected graph, you have only line size. Okay, so this is just for your understanding. So in the exam, this is coming for five marks. Representation of a graph. How you are going to represent the graph. Okay, so this is going to be given in the exam. This is going to be given. And then you have to write for these two parts. Okay, you have to write using the matrix and time and matrix or using the linked list. Okay, you have to write these two things. This is going to be given in the exam. You have to write this one and this one. Okay, and the ex assignment also I'm giving, okay, for your practice. This is like this one of the graph is given and you have to write this one to the array and time and matrix and then using the linked list. This is using linked list and then this is a to the array n time n or using n time n matrix array. Okay, so this is very, very simple. Please, okay, look at carefully and then, okay, again, one time it will be difficult. But if you do again and again, it will be very easy. And the exam, it is coming for five marks. So please, okay, try to understand again. I'm giving only two slides and then one slide is just for the, what is a graph? Directed graph and undirected graph, the past life just explanation, but this is the uh, representation of the graph. And here, look at the here and this question, this graph, you have a how many numbers? One, two, three, four, five. You have a five numbers here. Okay, five edges, five points. Okay, so you just write both sides here, five. Okay, this is just I and J, they just put it, this is vertical and horizontal matrix, okay, n by n. So one, two, three, four, five, because you have here five number. If you have six number, you put until six, okay? If you have only four number, you put only until four, and then until four, okay? So now look at the here, check the arrow now. From one to one, you have one to one, there is no arrow pointing, okay? So zero is here. From one to two, one to two, the arrow is pointing here. From one to two, the arrow is pointing, so you put one. If the arrow is pointing, put one. How about one to three? One, two, three, the arrow is pointing also. So, so you put one. How about one to four? See, one to four, the arrow is not pointing. Only from four to one, it is pointing. From one to four, there is no arrow pointing. So you put zero. So one to five, also no pointing here. One to five, this is one to five, there is no pointing, so you put zero. Okay, so look at the number two now. From two to one, from two to one, there is no pointing, so you put zero. Okay, two to two, there is no pointing also, so you put zero. Okay, two to three, there is no pointing also, so zero. Okay, so only two to five. Look at the two to five here. Two to five, there is pointing, arrow is pointing. See from two to five, the arrow is pointing. So you put one here. Okay, so from the three also, when you check three to one, three to two, three to three, there is no pointing, so you put zero. But when we check to the three to four, there is a pointing, so we put one. See, three to four, there is a pointing arrow here. From three to four, arrow is pointing so we put one but three to five there is no pointing so we put zero okay similar to from four and one from four and one look at here from four to one there is a pointing arrow so you put one other things no pointing from four so all are zero here 
when you shake the five, five to one, five to two, five to three, five to four, there is no pointing at all. Up, only from five to five, there is pointing itself here. Look at here. Five to five, it is pointing itself. From five, start here and go back to here, it is pointing. So five to five, it is one point. So it is very easy for representation of the graph using the array. But this linked list is much more easy also. How about here? Because again, look at the figure, how many numbers are there? If there is four number, just write until the four. If there is a six number, write until the six. Now you have one, two, three, four, five. Five number, write the five number. So from here, okay, you are going to point from one, Okay, from one, one is pointing to two. See, one from one, it is pointing to two. Okay, again, from one is pointing to three. So it's true to the three also. So from one, one is pointing to two. And then again, one is pointing to three. So one is pointing two times. One is pointing to two, and then one is pointing to three. Look at the arrow here pointing to two and pointing to three. So that's why you have to write like this. One pointing to two, and then again pointing to three. This represents one. Okay, after that you must close like this now. Okay, how about the two? Look at the two. Two is only pointing to five. So two is only pointing to five. And then stop, finish one. Okay, how about the three? Three is only pointing to four. Okay, so three is only pointing to four, and then after the null, make the stop. How about the four? Four is only pointing to one. Okay, so four to one here, and then stop. How about the five? Five is pointing to itself, five again. So this is five is pointing to five, and then stop. Okay, so finish. It is very, very easy. So again, in the exam, like this time of the graph will be given and then you have to write this using the matrix and then using the length list. Okay, this is five marks. It is very, very easy. I already gave in the assignment. Please try to understand. Okay, well, from the chapter three also, binary tree, I give assignment also. Okay, because I want you to understand so that it will be easier for you in the exam, final exam. So from chapter four, I mean, chapter six, you will get four marks, and chapter five, you will get five marks. It is a nine marks, and the final exam. You should easily get these marks. Okay, so please try to understand, inshallah. Okay, thank you.